know what irks me? Look, having nuclear, my uncle was a great professor and scientist and engineer, Dr. John Trump at MIT. Good, good genes, very good genes, okay? Very smart. The Wharton School of Finance, very good, very smart. But you look at the nuclear deal, the thing that really bothers me, and it would have been so easy, and it's not as, as important as these lives are, nuclear is so powerful. My uncle explained that to me many, many years ago, the power, and that was 35 years ago. He would explain the power of what's going to happen, and he was right. Who would have thought? I'll put the link to this. It's a great site I've used for a couple of different things. Um, you could search old newspapers, and it's all archived. And here I'm going to search for Tesla, which is what this video is about here. And you can see it pulls up all different pages, and then the name Tesla, or the word that you search for, is highlighted in red on these screens somehow.
Um, so it's really easy to see what you're looking for. So I'll just click on this one here. Um, and then you can, excuse me, you can zoom in. You know, it makes it a little easier to read. You, you can zoom in farther than that, just uh, just to show you here. So as you can see, there's a ton of search results. So I've only looked through a couple couple different pages here. And uh, I'm going to took screenshots of some of the stuff that I thought was interesting. So here we go. Tesla makes the unseen a visible, terrible manifestation in nature. He generates currents that would not disturb a fly on your sleeping babe, yet they are as dis devastating as a cyclone. He gives the faintest whispering current force, a force that disintegrates armor plate as quickly as you melt sugar with water. In a way, he brings certainty out of chaos. He makes substance from nothing, that which you can neither see, taste, hear, nor smell. He lashes into a storm of fury, and you hear this nothing roar as thunder like Niagara. It suggests to the contemplative mind that period when this great rolling globe of ours was without form and void. Bright flames shot from the electrode, not from pole to pole as an ordinary demonstration. Like fiery serpents, the wavy coils of flame darted in graceful lines around the disk. The longest sparks were fully eight feet from the point when they burst into dazzling brilliancy to the vanishing point. I am producing, said he, electrical disturbances of intense magnitude, which is continuing throughout the entire Earth. In other words, I am producing a disturbance of the Earth's charge of electricity, which can be felt to the uttermost parts of the Earth. And the result will be? Ah, said Tesla, that is almost incomprehensible. The last line on the column on the left. Uh, still another branch of applied electricity, electrotherapy, more particularly through the instrumentality of currents of high frequency, has been much enhanced. The most valuable results being the eradication of cancer and like malignant growths. Two groups of children, it is stated, of about the same physique, age, and mentality were placed in two rooms which were exactly alike, except that in the walls of one of the rooms there were wires concealed which carried high-frequency alternating electrical currents. This was done at a school, and neither the teachers nor the pupils knew any such experiment was being conducted. Dispatches from Stockholm state that at the end of six months, the electrically treated children had grown two inches on an average, and the children who were not subjected to the electrical influence had grown only an inch and a sixteenth, making 20 the standard of perfection, the electrified children reached in their studies an average of 18.4, and 15 attained a perfect score. The unmagnetized children attained an average of 15, and only 9 of them got perfect marks. When questioned, the teachers who had classes in the electrically influenced room said their faculties were quickened and their powers of endurance increased. Electric marvel, Tesla claims an invention that makes war impossible. Most feeble of nation can have means of defense. Naval power useless. His weapon will make junk of powerful ships. Torpedo boat propelled at will by electric device. Remember, Dr. Tesla emphasized, that I am now only mentioning one of the minor applications of wireless power. Just think what benefits could be derived in this particular phase of aerial development by the construction of one single plant from which all the flying machines of the world could be operated without fuel, or other energy of any kind. Nikola Tesla announced Tuesday the completion of his latest discovery, the simultaneous transmission of messages by means of the Earth's electrical current to, to as many scattered points on the surface of the globe as may be desired. This he regards as by far his greatest achievement. With his oscillator and condenser, Tesla says he sends waves of electricity through space, with a force that makes dynamite a child's toy by comparison. Of the dread thunderbolts that, that devastate forests and shatter the mountain's crest, he says, I believe that often not more than three horsepower of energy is in the lightning stroke that rends the oak or splits down cliffs of granite. It is the velocity of explosion that gives the electrical current its awful force. My oscillator sets up a vibration of electricity that is felt in every part of the world, and yet its terrific force is scarcely perceptible to man. By this invention, every live part of Mother Earth's body would be brought into action. Energy will be collected all over the globe in amounts small or large as it may exist, ranging from a fraction of one of a few horsepower or more. Every waterfall can be utilized. 
every coal field made to produce energy to be transmitted to vast distances, and every place on Earth can have power at small cost. One of the minor issues might be the illumination of isolated homes. We could light houses all over the country by means of vacuum tubes operated by high-frequency currents. We could keep the clocks of the United States going and give everyone exact time. We could turn factories, machine shops, and mills, small or large, anywhere, and I believe could also navigate the air. One of the most important features of this invention, said Mr. Tesla, will be the transmission of intelligence. It will convert the entire Earth into a huge brain, capable of responding in every one of its parts. By the employment of a number of plants, each of which can transmit signals to all parts of the world, the news of the globe will be flashed to all points.